Congresswoman Bush introduces legislation urging federal reparations. Congressional Black Caucus. Brother Truth, Brother Professor Black Truth, I found this very interesting. Washington, D.C., May 18th, 2023. Congresswoman Cori Bush, Missouri, introduced a resolution that forcefully urges forcefully argues why the federal government must provide reparations to descendants of enslaved black people and people of African descent. The resolution outlines the various forms those reparations should take. The Reparations Now resolution seeks to advance federal reparations supporting existing reparatory justice efforts such as H.R. 40 and H.C.O.N. Resolution 44 and provides further momentum to reparation efforts at the state and local levels. Cori Bush had the following to say. I am one of the 40 million people in this country descended from enslaved Africans. Our ancestors were torn away from their homes and families, enslaved and forced to fuel this country's economy since the day it was founded. And then they were left landless, impoverished, and disenfranchised. Black people continue to bear the harms of slavery and its vestiges through the black-white wealth gap, segregation, and redlining, disparities in health outcomes, a racist and destructive criminal legal system, and countless other ways. Yet our federal government refuses to acknowledge the lasting harms of slavery and the unjust world it created for black people. We know this un injustice because we experience it every day. This resolution will move us closer to a federal government, government that acknowledges its responsibility for this injustice and enacts a holistic and comprehensive reparations package that begins to address the harm it has caused, the wealth it has extracted, and the lives it has stolen. The Reparations Now re Resolution has been endorsed by nearly 300 organizations, including National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America, Color of Change, Action St. Louis, Arch City Defenders, Rainbow Push Coalition, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, USA, National Black Justice Coalition, African American Redress Network, New Brunswick Area, NAACP, Japanese American Citizens League, Black Music Action Coalition, Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Incorporated, Reparation Education Project, U.S. Truth, Racial Healing and Transformation Movement, Universal Human Rights Initiative, National Council of Churches, Drug Policy Alliance, National Education Association, Decolonizing Wealth Project, National Conference of Black Lawyers, Terrence Crutcher Foundation, National Consumers League Reparations, fi Finance Lab, National Council of Jewish, Wis oh, Jewish Women, and National uh, NIKKEI Reparations Coalition, a full list of all endorsing organizations and their quotes can be found by going to Cori Bush, Congresswoman for Missouri, first. N. Cobra is honored to support Congresswoman 
Bush and her legislative efforts toward further amplifying the call for reparations for people of African descent. Reparations are long overdue and the harms associated must be redressed immediately. We are proud to stand with the Congresswoman as she advances the vision of so many ancestors. We stand ready to provide whatever support she deems necessary, said Kenneth Henry, National Co-Chair, National Coalition of Blacks for Reparations in America. And that's called NCOBRA. America has unfinished business and this legislation will help to address it, said Reverend Jesse Jackson, President Rainbow Push Coalition. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm reading something from NBC News. NBC News, members of Congress aim to revive federal reparations push. Representative Cory Bush, new resolution urges the federal government to compensate descendants of enslaved Africans for centuries of slavery and systematic racism. A group of lawmakers is stepping in to bolster reparation efforts that will benefit descendants of enslaved Africans. On Wednesday, Representatives Cory Bush, Democrat from Missouri, Barbara Lee, Democrat, California, and Rashida Tlaib, Democrat, Michigan, stood in front of the Capitol as they unveiled reparations now, a resolution that urges the federal government to take action to compensate the descendants of slaves. The measure is meant to bring attention to H.R. 40, the slow moving federal bill that has been introduced to Congress each term since 1989 and will create a commission to examine the issue. Bush said at the press conference, the nation has a moral and legal obligation to provide reparations to black people for slavery and its resulting racist systems. Black people in our country cannot wait any longer for our government to begin addressing each and every one of the extraordinary bits of harm, all of the harm it has caused since the, the founding, that it continues to per per perpetuate each and every day all across our communities. All across this country, Bush said. The matter of reparations has been persistently in and out of headlines in res recent years, and the 2020 protests following the deaths of Brother George Floyd and Sister Breonna Taylor thrust the topic back into the spotlight, prompting states and cities to consider ways to compensate black people. Supporters of the initiative have pointed to the discrimination and systematic racism that follows slavery as reason to think deeply about compensating black people. Everything from redlining and segregation to poverty rates has come into play in the national conversation. And I will add this on my own. President Biden can give billions of dollars to Israel to help in the genocide against Palestinian, Palestinian people, but when it comes to reparations, his mind seems to be completely gone. And let me repeat that. President Bush can give billions of dollars to Israel to help in the genocide against Palestinian people, but when it comes to reparations for black Americans, his mind seems to be completely 100% gone. But back to what Cory Bush was saying. We know that we continue to live under uh, slavery's vestiges. We know how slavery has perpetuated Jim Crow. We know how slavery impacts lives on today from the black-white wealth gap to voter suppression to segregation and redlining to disparities in infant mortality rates and other health outcomes. The resolution comes as California 